Let's get it. All right, first and foremost, I would like to thank everyone who's out here right now. Thank you for coming down, guys. I'm just here to enlighten you. I go by the name of Legit. I'm a rapper. Um, this opportunity was proposed to me by a good friend of mine, and um, I guess there was nobody better to represent the streets of Roxbury than me since I grew up here. Um, let's start off by saying, I'm just here to enlighten you guys and let you guys know about the history of these streets of Boston and whatnot. So just hit me out. We'll only be here for a little while. Yeah, get, come on, come on down, come on down, come on down. We'll be here for a little while. All I need is 10 minutes, 10 minutes. All right, so let's, uh, let's start off with a little bit of spoken word here. All right, let's get it off. I said, um, this intersection, I say it with no disrespecting, but middle fingers up to these street signs. Brothers ducking one time, two times, three times. Not realizing this was all designed to keep us trapped within the mind. They stand around like soldiers in their uniforms, but behave like slave owners in the newest form. Slavery, genocide, it's just like a curse. Making arrests for drugs and guns, but in reality, they had them first. It's all a system, and we continue to assist them. But it's time to stand up and become victims instead of victims, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I came up with this nice song for y'all. It's called Stand Up, so actually, I'm gonna get some water before I, before I do this joint for y'all. Let me get some water. Keep it going, Frankie, let's go, guys. and just the future and the past of the people, you know what I'm saying? But um, I'm going to get into this. This might be the boring part. I know y'all just got out of school and all that, but I'm going to educate y'all a little bit more on what they don't teach you there, you know what I'm saying? So um, everybody knows that America was discovered by Christopher Columbus and the English, but it wasn't discovered because there was already people here, you know what I'm saying? 
So uh, the English came here, the English came here with all intentions, all intentions to just corrupt the minds of the Indians and take over. And what y'all don't know, what y'all don't know is that uh, landing in Plymouth, you know what I'm saying, Massachusetts was the first, was the first colony to ever legally uh, establish slave trading. And um, you know what I mean, that led to genocides and, and, and slavery, years of slavery. And um, it's just sad, because we don't learn that in school, you know what I mean? I attended, I attended the, the Agassiz Elementary myself, and I didn't learn anything about the history of my school. That school was named after Luis Agassiz, who was a, he wasn't only a racist, he was a scientific racist. He believed that black people had deficiencies, like physical and mental. We weren't able to process logic and all this, and he was Harvard educated. That just goes to show that no matter what kind of degree you got, you can still be ignorant, you know what I'm saying? But um, um, I was chosen for this project because I actually represent Warren Street. And um, it saddens me, but everybody take a look at that pole right across the street. That pole with the flowers tied to the top. My two boys last year, May 3rd, 2013, were shot and killed over there. You know what I'm saying? And um, they died representing my neighborhood, which is Warren Gardens. It's the neighborhood, right? The housing development right next to McDonald's. And what people don't know is um, all these young kids continue to die over nothing. And um, they die in memory of a slave owner's name. This street was named after two men. One was Dr. Joseph Warren, and the other one was James Warren. It was considered Warren Town back in the day. And uh, both of these men were revolutionary heroes in the Revolutionary War. And um, they fought against the rights for black people to have freedom and whatnot. And Dr. Joseph Mason, people, I mean, Dr. Joseph Warren, people don't know, he was one of the leading slave owners in, um, in the whole colonial New England. People don't know that. And these, these, these young kids continue to rep, represent gangs in the names of all these uh, slave owners. And um, it's really time to wake up and educate yourselves and enlighten yourself on what they don't teach y'all, what they don't teach y'all in there, because I see a lot of black faces over there. It's time to wake up, read the books about what they don't teach y'all in there, for real, for real. Because um, it will just, this, this violence will just keep, keep going on. But um, yeah, that's my time here. And um, I'd like to thank all you guys for coming out. Make some noise for me again. Make some noise for me again. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, guys. Um, but I still need y'all to participate and sign this band on. Your feelings, your feelings about the past, your feelings about the future, your, your feelings about this neighborhood. Whatever you want to throw on that banner, you can do it up. So, yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you. Freestyle. Steph wanted freestyle. All right, I got time for y'all. I got a little verse verse for y'all.